Canyon Ruchinia is the last place you'd bring your family if you had any choice. Out on the lava fields just to the north of Goma, there is no water, no food and precious little shelter. But more than 13,000 families have arrived in the past month alone, abandoning their homes and their fields because at least here there is no fighting. Kibombo Kalinunda brought his wife and eight children here two weeks ago when the M23 rebels attacked their village. The cholera attacked the camp and killed three of Kibombo's children. We are just living like this. We are either going to die of hunger or the rain. We don't have any way of helping ourselves. Going home isn't an option, so now we live like wild animals. To manage the cholera outbreak, the medical charity Doctors Without Borders set up a hospital last week and they've already treated about a hundred patients. At least nine have died already. So the displaced families struggle with the burden of disease and malnutrition almost entirely alone. Aid agencies say they're doing what they can to help these people but you only need to glance at the living conditions here to appreciate that it is tragically short of the need. A few people have been able to get plastic sheets for their shelters, there was a handout of high energy biscuits about a week ago and there are deliveries of water, but over the past month that's been it. Families came here because it's behind a defensive line set up by the Congolese army and UN peacekeepers, but history doesn't make them feel secure. <laughs> I don't know because this is the second time we're being displaced. In 2008 we came here when another rebel group attacked and the UN tried to protect us. Now we're here again and the UN is around once more. We don't know if this fighting will really ever end. People here feel abandoned, forgotten by the world, ignored by their government, with only God to turn to. The rebels have already forced a quarter of a million to run for their lives. If the UN can't hold them back, these people will have to run again.